Hello, my name is Steve Cohn. I'm a lawyer in Washington, D.C., and I've represented whistleblowers for over 30 years. I'm also the executive director of an NGO known as the National Whistleblower Center. And through the center, we work to educate potential whistleblowers, NGOs, government officials worldwide about the importance of whistleblower protection and its effectiveness. I want to thank the Committee on Financial Crimes of the Parliament of Nigeria for this opportunity to address you and other citizens in Nigeria about whistleblowing, the importance of the new law you are enacting, and the critical importance of implementing that new law effectively. But what is a whistleblower? As you can see from the definition here on slide two, a whistleblower is someone whose loyalty is to the truth. They report financial frauds, corruption, tax evasion, and other crimes to the appropriate authorities. Whistleblowing is key to the detection of crimes that are intended to be secret, like paying a bribe. If you pay a bribe effectively, no one knows the crime was committed. Without an insider to point out who took the bribe, who paid the bribe, and give documentation of that crime, it's nearly impossible to detect or prove. This is very unlike, say, murder, where people know there's a dead body and the police are trained in fingerprints or DNA to figure out who killed the person in a crime that everyone knows happened. That's not corruption. Corruption is designed to be secret and you need insiders to stop it. You need whistle blowers. This chart here actually explains why whistleblowing works and why it is essential for an effective anti-corruption program. This discusses, this is statistically accurate. These are based on studies done of thousands of fraud report cases worldwide. And you can see these colors here reflect regions in the world, such as the United States, but it also has Asia Pacific, Southeast Asia, Eastern Europe, Western Europe. And you can see the way crimes and frauds are detected are the same regardless of where you are in the world. And this first is here called the tip, a tipster, a whistleblower, an insider. And you can see today, even without effective whistleblower programs, the insiders are still the most important source of all fraud detection. Way down here, you have law enforcement. That's what the police can find on their own. It's hard to find it. What this statistic shows is that without an, a good whistleblower program, crime is profitable. You won't get detected. And in the United States, where we have had strong whistleblower laws for over 30 years, our top law enforcement officials have reflected, have testified, to the importance of whistleblowing. This is from our former Attorney General, saying that the impact of the whistleblower laws has been nothing short of profound. They have saved lives, they have saved money. And this is another quote from the Attorney General responsible for actually policing frauds against the government. And they refer to the whistleblower laws as the most powerful tool the American people have 
to protect their government from fraud. And when Nigeria implements an effective whistleblower law and promotes it, it too can become one of the strongest elements, one of the most effective means to root out corruption and hold fraudsters accountable. This is just another way of looking at the effectiveness of whistleblowing here on slide six. This shows the dollars collected by the U.S. government directly from fraudsters based on information provided by whistleblowers after our big whistleblower law, the False Claims Act, was passed. So you can see way down here, before the whistleblower law was passed, they were not very successful in detecting fraud. They were just getting a couple million bucks a year. Very ineffective program. But as whistleblowers learned about these, their potential to recover, to get rewards, to be protected, they started reporting more and more frauds and bigger frauds. And as you can see, over time, this is how the recoveries increased until most recently, the whistleblowers are bringing in approximately $4 billion a year directly from the fraudsters. And this is what you will see, and we've seen in other programs. When the laws are implemented and implemented correctly, the recoveries skyrocket, officials are held accountable, government contractors who are trying to bribe their way into getting lucrative deals are caught. This is just another way of looking at it. Since this law was passed, whistleblowers now account for 69% of all fraud recoveries over a 30-year period, and $33 billion has been collected for the taxpayer. Some of our whistleblower laws have international application. So it's critical that Nigeria pass a law, send a message, provide protection, but it's also important for Nigerians and Nigerian authorities to work with the U.S. authorities when our laws can provide compensation to whistleblowers in Nigeria. Our most important international whistleblower law is the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act, which, per which permits non-U.S. citizens, people from Nigeria, to report bribes paid to Nigerian government officials by businesses to get advantages. Although I don't want to go into the technical definition, it's safe to assume almost all publicly traded companies in the world, their subsidiaries, their agents, their Nigerian employees are covered under this law. And the United States has already paid non-U.S. citizens, international whistleblowers, who have reported bribes in foreign countries over $30 million in rewards. And the, our program, this is from the chair of the SEC, look what she said about how a good whistleblower program can work. This is here on slide 11. Their whistleblower program has rapidly become an effective force multiplier, generating high quality tips, and in some cases virtual blueprints laying out the entire enterprise. When you get an insider, who can furnish high quality information. It permits accountability, prosecutions, and recoveries. This is a map that shows in all the countries in black are where non-US citizens have detected bribes paid in their countries and have filed claims in the United States between 2012 and 2015. 
this law can be used by Nigerians today. This is just a list of all the countries on slide. Uh, on the next slide, you can see all the countries where people have made the reports. So today, in Nigeria, these four laws would apply. False Claims Act, anything being imported into the United States could be covered, among other issues. Foreign Corrupt Practices Act, FCPA, foreign bribery. The Lacey Act, this is very important. We have laws that prevent international wildlife trafficking in ivory and rhino horns. They cover illegal forestation. They protect plants, fish, and animals, and they have reward provisions. These laws are now being started to being used and can be very significant in Africa for preventing the destruction of wildlife. And there's a fourth one called the Act to Prevent Pollution on Ships. It covers pollution on the high seas. So non-U.S. crew members can report and receive rewards. So what's the program? What is necessary? to implement a whistleblower program, an effective whistleblower program. Well, first, you have to pass a law. And once you pass the law, you have to implement it. You need to send a message to everyone that whistleblowing is acceptable, that it is encouraged, and that it will be protected. Not just if you come to the United States, but in Nigeria itself. You need to set the policy. So the foundation is to protect your witnesses, employees who report fraud and corruption from retaliation and ensure adequate compensation. If somebody risks their job or even their life to report a crime, it is the obligation of the government to protect them and compensate them for the losses that they may experience. Second, protect confidentiality. The best way to protect a whistleblower is to make sure no one knows who he or she is. But there's more to it than that. If the whistleblower remains confidential, they can remain a source of information. You want whistleblowers who are working within the criminal enterprise who can get you the highest quality information. This can include participants, not the kingpin, not the person who organizes the criminal enterprise, but mark my word, you want to get participants who are inside the criminal enterprise and can give you the best information. We have to do trainings. We have to train NGOs. We have to train government officials. We have to train potential whistleblowers. You need to educate the public on their rights and how to blow the whistle. You need to educate government officials about what these rights are. And I also want to say you need to make sure that the whistleblower organizations are competently run and well organized. I also would highly recommend to educate whistleblowers in Nigeria as to all of the U.S. laws for which they may be protected or eligible for a reward. These laws are like your backstop. They are a safety net. And as Nigerians use these laws effectively, it will help change the culture and promote better laws in Nigeria. Because it's almost like competition. If I can go to the United States and make a report, well then, your system should be better than the U.S. system to get people to report within your country. I want to thank you so much for this opportunity to address members of parliament, the NGO community, and the citizens of Nigeria about this important breakthrough in corruption detection. And I also want to congratulate 
the members of Parliament who are working to implement effective whistleblower laws in Nigeria, and the NGOs and the members of the public that's making that possible. Uh, there are other resources available, and this here, as you can see right here, this is the Whistleblower's Handbook, and it has an entire section on foreign corruption. It has a section on international toolkit for assisting countries in figuring out the best way to go forward. Highly recommend it. It will be an effective source. We're also willing to set up trainings to come to Nigeria or work through videos or talk to your officials if they visit the United States to discuss how a whistleblower program can work, what are the do's and don'ts. And these are various sources of information that can be helpful to you in, in putting your program together, communicating with us, and learning about effective whistleblowing. So on behalf of my firm and on behalf of the National Whistleblower Center, thank you for this opportunity and congratulations on all of your efforts to build a whistleblower program. Thank you.